my creatures, sparklies, garumptious, delicious Libra. Welcome to your live tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, my baby. Whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please show me and tell us what is up with Libra in their little bit boo. Hmm. Wow, Libra, every time, almost every time, justice yourself. You're coming up in your own reading. As you are, I got hair stuck <laughs> stuck in my jewelry. <laughs> it's all it's always the way. It's always the way. Uh, big hair, big personality, um, hair issues. Okay, anyways. Um, the six of wands. <sighs> this person thinks, okay, this person could be a little bit egotistical. This person thinks that they can still win you over, win you back. With the U versus the reading, we're assuming uh, a rift for separation. Someone felt rejected here in the past with the Four of Cups, and that caused a lot of heartbreak. Hmm. Rejection and heartbreak in the background, mm, Libra. Uh, before we get into uh, the trauma of your person, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you're new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see baby. Come on, me. Kiss. Libra music on this channel is by Gondora Official, my magical sister. Check out her channel in the description box below. Uh, okay, let's see what happened in the past to make the situation. So also, uh, check out my new vlog channel. It's also going to be in the description box below if you're interested. Uh, I'm vlogging about my magical life and my everyday adventures traveling the world as a uh, magical travelpreneur. Uh, but yeah, enough about me. Hmm. This person was trying to balance something out in the past. This is why they lost you. They feel like they lost you, but they're like, there's a big ego on this person. I think they think they can win you back no matter what. There were secrets here, the moon. This person was hiding something. This I think this person was hiding the extent to which they were tied to something from the past, the queen of swords, king, queen, anyone between, by the way, baby, gender is arbitrary, but this person was tied to something in the past, either a partner, or something that was like keeping them tied down, you know, it could be like a baby daddy, baby mommy, like, you know, whatever the situation was, like a past partner who still has some kind of a hold over them. And they were trying to juggle like their energy between the past and the future. If it was a new connection, a bimbo himbo, anyone between you went on Tinder on the Tuesday, it is someone who, who wasn't 100% honest about that, but you being Libra, you figured it out, page of swords. I think you have a meeting of minds here to some extent, Libra. You have someone who's very, very smart, and you're very, very smart, and, you know, two people were trying to, like, you know, negotiate uh, power in the relationship, in the connection, even if it was super new, two dates, three dates, four dates, uh, two of pentacles, you know, two people, very, this was a worthwhile com uh, opponent component <laughs> worthwhile component w worthwhile opponent uh, ace of swords is how they see you they do see you as someone who figured them out you figured out that they had some kind of you know connection still to the past or that they weren't like 100 free could have been someone who told you they were divorced but they're legally not but like you know in their mind they are it's that kind of a situation their intention is definitely to you know uh revive this uh situation to make you feel like you are the most important thing to them the most important person the empress so yeah goddess energy here also Ooh, but they think you're very smart and it's like it frustrates them that you're so smart but it also fascinates them maybe they never met could be two very intellectual people you know or like two very smart like savvy street smart you know whatever kind of smart but it's something like that and uh, i think this person never met their match until they met you and it like frightens them and fascinates them at the same time baby if it was a more established connection there could have been constant you know there, there was like an issue here with this person split splitting their energy or time between you know two households the household with you or the they, the life they have with you and a past person who still has some kind of hold over them um but it's not just to be clear libra it's not cheating it's something that's already over but that person still has you know some kind of power a hold you know some kind of a uh say so in their life uh, there could have also been issues around children maybe there was a difficulty having children in this connection or this person was uh, for some reason blocking having children or vice versa take these uh, energies as they resonate it is a general reading but boo always take it with a grain of salt but i feel like this person was like someone was blocking having a baby one person wanted a baby the other one it didn't or there was a child in this connection and uh, one person felt like that child was getting shortchanged because maybe you know the other family was getting more attention something like that 
But this person, if they didn't want the kid, they want it now, and they're going to come at you and say, I want the child now. I'm going to give you a child. I'm going to give you a baby. Ah, jeez. Okay. You know, it's like this person's going to be saying, I'm ready to be a, a mother. I'm ready to be a father, a parent. I'm ready now. Maybe they weren't ready before. Especially if you're dealing with a feminine energy that was like, I don't want children. I think that feminine energy is coming through to say, no, I want them now. Uh, the um, Justice card here, um, Libra for what they're, what they're actually going to do. You get this so often, baby. Uh, this person is going to do right by you, do justice by you. Apologies, you know, congratulations. Uh, they're going to say, let's get married. Let's consolidate this connection. You know, whatever your situation is with them. If it's a new person, they're going to want to put a label on it. If it's something that was established, they're going to say, let's have a baby. Let's get married. All of that stuff. Let's see what the advice from my Libra baby is. But there's, yeah, this person has a big ego and they like a good argument. <laughs> hmm, Seven of Swords. This is so funny. Hmm. Don't let them get away with anything. You know, whatever it is that they're coming to fix, you need to make sure that they fix everything, not just like, don't just accept like an apology and some flowers. You, it needs to be more. It needs to be like the full Monty. But also, uh, it's funny because the angels are saying like, you know, you're, you're Libra, you're sm too smart for your own good. Like you figure everything out and that's also your superpower. So, um, you know, when, when you're dealing with this person, um, <clears throat> Make sure that you don't get into a situation where it's a battle of the mind or the wills uh, that, you know, it's not a constant, like it can be a part of that relationship, but it should be like a constant, you know, battle. It should be, or, or like sneaking around or trying to one up each other. Some, something about one upping each other, almost like you both were in some kind of a competition, like who wins, you know, make sure that doesn't become a pattern. Make sure that you come into this, uh, if and when you decide to reunite with love and light, uh, something could be happening in the, uh, in the next uh, 11 days, 11 hours, 11 weeks, some kind of a change 11 weeks, two months, maybe something like that. Uh, so, you know, up to you, Libra. It's all up for you on this channel. Uh, let me know in the comments below. This is your story, baby. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below, my baby Libra. Uh, also, um, what else can I tell you? Be careful. There's scammers about. I will never DM you or follow you on Instagram first and ask you if you want a reading. I will not solicit. No reputable tarot reader will solicit a reading. You have to come to us. The safest ways to contact me is uh, using the information in the description box, my email. Uh, email me directly and you will see re receive the correct information. If you're interested in a reading, any of my magical services or coaching, uh, email is the best way to uh, get in touch with me, baby. I'll see you next time, my baby Libra. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. <laughs> One more.